Caitlin from Chef Caitlin. Haven't done a vlog in forever and I'm looking absolutely wonderful after today's workout. But you know the saying, if you look cute after your workout, you haven't worked hard enough. Um, one sec. Of course I answer a text message in the middle of a vlog. Okay. Um, so I'm not, I don't really have a plan for this. I mean, I never have a plan for a vlog. So I'm just going to, kind of going to talk. Um, two really simple recipes that I'm going to be posting with this vlog. Um, the blueberry almond butter deliciousness and the little tuna pizza thingy majigs, which are awesome. Um, all, both super simple, both take less than 10 minutes and both are very filling. Dude, look at these muscles that are coming out. It's so great. It feels so good. Okay, so yesterday, um, our wad was, holy crap, it was killer. We did the bear complex. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we did a wad with the bear complex and with, let's see, we did, let me look at this. Hmm, so unprepared, but it's okay. Sorry, guys. Ooh, notice my headband. Um, it's a five bamboo headband. It says bloggers got a blog. I got it in my swag bag from um, Healthy Living Summit. So that's pretty cool beans. Okay, so yesterday we did, oh yeah, it was bear complex and box hop. So it was six rounds, six rounds of eight bear complex, which is you go, you can either do a deadlift and then bring it up and then, or you can just do a squat clean and then you do squat clean uh, or just hang clean, and then you do front squat, push press, back squat, push press, and back down. And so we did eight of those. I did that at 45 pounds. Um, RX was either 65 or 85, I can't remember. But I did 45, which was pretty challenging. Um, and eight box hops on two boxes. I probably could have done three boxes. Next time I'm going to challenge myself a little bit more. Um, two boxes has actually become a little low for me, which is pretty cool. Um, being able to go up to one and be like, wow, I, mean, I can do more this time than I did last time. Um, so that was cool. And before that, we did some strength work and we did back squat skills. So we did five reps, three reps, three reps, and then one rep, one rep, trying to get your one rep max. Um, a month ago, or just shy of a month ago, about on August 3rd, um, we did back squats at my box in Rochester, and my PR at that time was 105, 105 pounds. Um, and yesterday, I did 105, and I was like, okay, I can definitely add more weight. So I kept adding weight, and I got a PR of 135, so I got a 35 pound, or 30 pound PR, which I mean, I guess isn't too shabby. It's <laughs> pretty excited about that. Um, so that was a lot of fun, and then today I was really feeling it, but I knew I could still work out, like, I, my personal philosophy is that, sure, I'm, maybe I'm sore, maybe I'm feeling it, but you can always push through it, like, in my mind, it's all mental, you know, so if my muscles are really kind of screaming at me from the day before, so, you know, maybe not, don't try to kill yourself on the next one, or, um, if you did a really strength-based wad one day, you know, do a more Metcon-based wad the next. So that's what we did today. We did a Tabata, um, and I named it on my, my wad app, Tabata Kills Me, because it does. Um, hurts so good. So what we did, I think I've actually done this wad a little bit differently before, but it was, um, you do eight rounds each, so it was, uh, eight rounds of Tabata Mountain Climbers, one minute rest, eight rounds of dips on the rings. I used um, a red band on the rings because I'm not quite stable on the rings by themselves yet. So I did that, um, eight rounds of dips, one minute rest, then same with sit-ups, one minute, burpees, one minute rest, and then a one mile run. Um, holy crap, I was really feeling like my lower body, especially um, after yesterday's bear complex wad, I, the very last, um, after the very last rep, I threw the bar down, and then I did my box jumps, and because the box jumps use a very different, I mean, a slightly different, uh, area of muscles than, uh, the bear complex does, because when you're jumping, you know, it's mostly, like, quads and glutes, 
Um, and then the bear complex was kind of, I really um, felt that in my inner thighs a lot. Um, I need to learn more about anatomy and muscles so I can kind of be more specific. But like muscles in like the inner thigh, especially, um, once I was walking straight afterwards, I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to walk this out. Like, whew, this is, I'm feeling this. And I was like, holy crap. This was the first wad that I ever, I started walking afterwards to cool down a little bit. And my inner thighs were literally just like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a good, good kind of bad feeling. I don't know. But it was great. I mean, I knew it had hit me hard. And then I did some foam rolling and stretching with the bands, yada yada, but um, today's Tabata was definitely a challenge. Um, the dips I got, I got, I think I got 10 dips on each um, round of the Tabata for those. So that was kind of cool. I've never really done them on the, uh, on the rings until today and yesterday. And one of my sisters, um, who's actually a uh, new mock or pledge master when I was pledging, um, she's been coming with me on a consistent basis, like every other day, so that's been a lot of fun. And today I taught her how to deadlift, so I'm kind of exercising, you know, my coaching, my training skills, um, which I really liked. You know, I taught her what I know, and some of the other trainers were able to jump in because there are certain things that, you know, I understand technique, but there are a lot of things that I could definitely, I could definitely greatly benefit from taking um, the CrossFit Level 1 certification course. So that's probably something I'm going to do. Um, right now I'm reading the, the book, the online, you know, training manual. Um, actually it's free for anyone, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you just go on the CrossFit journal and you go to the left under training, um, that's where it is. And you can read that whole thing. And that plus the C1, uh, CrossFit Level 1 course, um, are basically, you know, what you need to know in order to start coaching people. Or from what I understand, that's what it is. So I've started to read through that, um, starting to help other people already. I really like training people. I really like helping people to realize, like, yeah, you can do this. You can add weight onto that. And here's how we're going to make sure that your technique is where it needs to be so that you can, you know, do larger weight and hit PRs. Um... Oh, and that gets me to my next thing. Today, I hit another PR. So yesterday, I did back squat PR. And today, after the wad, I was like, okay, I could I could use some strength. Might as well throw it in. Um, so I was planning on doing deadlifting and bench presses. But because of um, the girl I was with, her schedule, we had to dip out before... <laughs> dip. I love using that word. Um, we had to dip out before I could get to bench presses. Wow, I'm already at eight minutes. Um, we, I didn't get to do bench presses, but I did deadlifts. And I actually, I got a 10 pound PR, so um, my previous PR was on, let's see, oops, I need to add this actually, oh wow, okay, so my last PR was on July 31st, and now it's August 29th, so almost a month ago, just shy, a couple of days, um, but that was 135, and now a month later I was able to do 145. Um, and what I've kind of realized is that my um, quads and hamstrings really could use a lot of strengthening. Um, I know that squatting is definitely a lot more glute-centric. Um, so in my deadlift, I could really feel that I could use a lot more strength, especially in my hamstrings um, and in my quads. So that's something I'm going to work on. I'm going to try to lift, do at least a couple of different lifts every day. Um, maybe write it down and plan it out. Um, but one thing I am looking at right now is Outlaw CrossFit. Um, it's like Outlaw Trainer or something, and they put up these crazy awesome wads every day. Um, it's mainly focused on people who are trying to do competitive CrossFit, like people who want to go to the, well, I mean, everyone, anyone can do the Open, but people who want to go to regionals, people want, who want to go to the games, like this girl who really wants to go to regionals, 2014, that's the goal. Um, this year I might be able to make it, um, as a team, which would be really cool. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated. So that's kind of my fitness the last couple of days. And yeah, thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at Chef Caitlin. Follow my blog, ChefCaitlin.com. Um, and yeah, we'll chat soon. So tell me what you've been doing lately. How have you been sweating dirty? Um, what has your fitness been looking like? 
All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Mwah.